Hello, spellcasters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the sixth episode of our Find Familiar Options series. Today, before we get too far ahead, uh, just quick reminder: this channel is not aimed at kids. Not me. It's a YouTube thing. So please, I uh, just make a note of that. That being said, today we're going to be taking a look at the wizard. Man, pretty cool stuff, honestly. I just like the idea of a little wizard, or a little lizard, pushing your shoulder. A, a, a wizard lizard, as it were. Especially when you can cast spells through it. Man, that's kind of cool. Alright, in any case, let's take a quick look at its stats here. Uh, it has a pretty low AC of 10. I think that's the lowest one we've really covered so far. It does have two hit points though, so take from that what you will. I'd just roll the die for us, see what you get. Usually more, fun, usually more fun that way. It has two different speeds, a walk speed of 20 feet and a climb speed of 20 feet, which is nice. Climbing is kind of broken in 5e, so I really like that. Um, in terms of its raw stats though, not really a whole lot going on. I mean, it's not terrible at dex or con, but outside of that, it's pretty bad at a lot of stuff. Um, it does get dark vision up to 30 feet though, which is super great, especially if it's just perched on your shoulder, just look through it. Basically, you get dark vision up to 30 feet, which is nice. Uh, it has a per passive perception of 9, which isn't overly high, but it's not terrible either. Um, that being said, if you have any cool ideas, any interesting ways to use the lizard, I'd really like to hear it down in the comment section below. below. Um, that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today, and as always, have a great day, and happy casting!